This is DNN, definitely not news. One letter better than CNN, because I said so. Welcome to episode 37, where I find out that I'm not crazy, I'm just sanity adjacent. Let me say thank you very much to Polarix and Jaspertine for helping me out by providing music. Also, there are links to their stuff in the uh, description of the video, and I would like to ask everybody who wants to, to not only share this show around, but to share their stuff too, because they worked hard on it. They deserve a little bit of, uh, you know, applause and praise for their work. It's good stuff. Now, who wants to see some ridiculous and mostly true headlines that just made me go, oh. Uh. All right then, here we go. Fox News commentator asked the public to keep newborns two meters away from mothers during breastfeeding. Uh, dude, I gotta ask, how is that supposed to work? I mean, what's the matter with you? Lawsuit filed against women warned other women not to date a certain Nashville man. Just how bad on dates do you have to be before everybody in town doesn't want to go on a date with you? Seriously. What'd you do? Lick the floor and say it was a good idea? The IRS sends coronavirus stimulus checks to dead people. So, was this them sending pe to people were infected but it was far too late or them just sending it to the wrong social insurance numbers knowing them it's probably the late thing don't you think in argentina the government recommends virtual sex amid compulsory isolation so does that mean the government's recommending masturbation it's kind of creepy isn't it The U.S. is running out of frozen pizza amid the coronavirus pandemic. So, when actual critical supplies are reaching, reaching extreme shortages like sanitizer and, you know, gloves and medical supplies, somebody thought that it was a good idea to put the lack of pizza in a headline. Can you say out of touch? I know, really. He doesn't really pay attention to what the world needs. Stupid Montreal attorneys attempt to trademark the term COVID-19. Well, that's almost as dumb as a certain idiot with orange skin and uh, blonde poofy hair trying to trademark the phrase, you're fired. Speaking of dumb things, he actually tried to buy a company in Germany that's working on the vaccine and force them to move to the states so that the states could be the only ones who have the vaccine. A little shout out to that company for saying, no, go away. We appreciate you. Speaking of Fox News, they have they decided to defend their lies about the plague citing First Amendment rights protect their false lies in speech. That may be technically true, but I think that proves that their heads are, once and for all, completely up their own butts. These were the headlines I could find for the ridiculous and true varieties, except for one of them. So let me ask you, which one was I lying about? Can you figure it out? You can put a guess in the comments and maybe win something nice. If not, you can say whatever you want in the comics anyway. I've even got a Pokemon that's called Fard. Don't know what it looks like, but it keeps sounding like it. Hope you guys stay safe and happy and relatively sane during this uh, ongoing craziness. Thank you for watching.